Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm going to talk about an important tool which is just an AI tool called JitMind. I'm really using it and I, it's mind blowing. I just want to discuss this with you and uh, keep watching till the end so that you are you will be super excited. Okay, so this is JitMind. What is JitMind basically? If you want to create a mind map, okay, uh, for your exam, for your um, uh, for your boot camp or whatever it may be, even this can be used by the students right from the students towards the professional anybody who can use it if you want to brainstorm your idea and if you wanted to uh, if you want AI to help you then JitMind is the best tool you can use it so let's just explore it before we proceed I'd like to tell you that this is my channel Gomes Tech Talks if you haven't subscribed yet please go and subscribe now and here in the skill up page you can find a lot of useful videos which will be useful for you uh, for as a uh, student or as a professor or as a professional this um, playlist will be useful for you so let's go and explore JitMind okay so just click try JitMind AI now so once if you click here you know it will just ask you what you wanted to create with the help of an AI okay so it uses AI to explore so let's just try to create something for you okay so JitMind you can see it's get JitMind mind mapping or AI assistant AI drawing or web access so just I'm just going to select with mind mapping you have a lot of options here so if you want to go ahead with the prompt you can do it if you want to type a long text and based on the text if you want to create some mind map then it's also fine if you have a document you can upload it if you have a YouTube and from the YouTube it has to create some insights then that's also fine website and image okay so now let's go and try it with a map prompt so this is the first term but I'm just going to explain with a uh, prompt and if you are really super excited comment below as yes, I'll be explaining how to go with a long text PDF document YouTube website and images so let's just go and try uh, for this okay so generate a mind map um, for types of research okay I'm just typing types of research research methodology Okay, I just gave uh, types of research methodology here. Of course, they are giving a lot of prompts. Okay, generate the key TOEFL grammar rules, <coughs> strategy for attaching, retaining followers. So there are a lot of things they are just giving us. I'm just going to try with this. Okay, and output like they are providing a lot of uh, languages. You can try with these languages. Uh, so uh, it will be updated. Okay, they are as of now, they're providing only few languages. But yes, you can also watch this later. And what model you want, whether you want to go with a basic model or a advanced model. So if you have a um, uh, if you have the um, uh, what to say like if you have uh, if you are a premium user then you can definitely use this advanced model or else you can just go ahead with the pre, um, uh, basic model okay so I am just giving I have just given like uh, types of research methodology so I am also using generate types of research methodology okay so and I am clicking generate let's see what is the um, magic gonna happen okay so let's just wait it is creating it is creating a jit mind a AI as well as it will also create a chat you can just chat with AI as well so here you can see hello uh, I am JitMind AI let's explore question you may be interested so it is ask also asking like what are the questions you are recently in uh, interested healthy living but as we asked for generate types of methodology so it is giving us some overview okay see it is generating I'm not typing anything okay descriptive research exploratory research action research everything so once if you are fine with this content you can click generate or else you can just go and uh, change it here okay so you have the options to uh, explore change it so if you feel like in quantitative research experimental research you have survey research correlation research in qualitative research you have ethnography case study grounded th um, theory and if you are really okay with this you can go ahead or else if you want to change something you can also change it okay if you want to add something to this you can also do this so once if you are fine you can just click generate or you can please confirm the above outline just click generate you know you can see the next magic which is happening it is creating you can see here uh, in this particular place okay so it is creating the complete mind map for you what is a uh, type of research uh, your action your grounded theory mixed research 
wow it's really mind blowing you know like i was really surprised on seeing this and i just want to share it with you all about this particular um uh, jit mind okay so see your mind map is ready now i am just going to give a like and it's also asking you if it you wanted to uh, understand any specific things you know you can also ask the jit mind chat so explain the concept of type of research methodology so if you want to understand this one you can just click here it will explain you the type what is the definition what is a metaphor and what is a feature table wow everything it is creating the principle uh, the scene okay it is setting the scene for you and it is explaining with an ex example the demonstration what are variance the deep end okay so everything it is explaining you in explaining it to you in detail it's really awesome to see this right the end of our journey and if you wanted to research insert this as a note yes you can also do this or if you want to replace the selected note yes or if you want to insert as a child note yes you can also do this so it is generating a mind map see what we are doing is what we are just trying to understand what it is and trying to add it along with so let's try to see this what happens okay i'm just closing this and i'm going to see what is happening here see this is research methodology and the first methodology is what the quantitative research okay so inside quantitative research i have experimental research which is a two type one as a controlled experiment and a randomized experimental research you can see here i have two things that is under experimental and survey which we have questionnaire and structured interview and correlation research we have statistical analysis and relationship um, interview and then participant observation you can find it these things okay ethnography in depth uh, contextual understanding that is case study and also the grounded theory you can find it okay and also the next one sequential explanatory so what happens here what are the various use cases here you can use if you wanted to create a mind map of your research might be you can explain you can upload your research paper here and create a mind map you can if you are a student and if you wanted to create a mind map of your uh, seminar uh, uh, topics which you're going to take or any anything which is related to your subject you can create a excellent um, mind map here with the help of a jit mind you know you don't want to strain much it will create it for you completely it will create it for you okay and you can see here what are the other things it's a metaphor research it's a feature table it's a principle what is this case study variance so it's telling everything for you depend and philosophy questions okay so everything it is giving you and yes this is what jit mind and you can do beyond this there are a lot of things which are possible with the help of the jit mind okay uh, if you want to explore more if you want to find and understand more about jit mind so just let me know i will explain more about this let me just um discuss this in the next uh, probably in the next uh, session okay so you can see here you have all these uh, theme you know like um, what are the various themes you can uh, do you can also customize this the layout you can check how you have to go ahead with and the theme yes we have uh, selected the themes right so this is the layout and you can find you can even use the icons if you want to add some icons you now which branch you want to add the icon you can also do this there are a lot of interesting factors in jit mind and i wanted to explore more with you if you are really interested if you have any case study if you want to understand how you can use jit mind for your um uh, your uh, case your uh, scenario or if you have any questions for this please leave your comment i'll be happy to assist you thank you take care bye bye i'll see you know soon with the next exciting video don't forget to subscribe share this and like